Hello butterflies. So today we are going to be working on more cute stuff for RTN. And in the past I made a video making a like a bookmark or page marker but that holds our paper clips. And so today I felt inspired to make that for my TN too. Um, I'll, if I remember, I'll link that video, but if not, you can just look for it and you will find like my crafty videos. So anyways, what I did, I took out my Jane Davenport paper, which I love. I feel like it's definitely Frida Kahlo vibes. And so, um, this paper stack, I love it. I love all the colors. I love all of like the different um what am I trying to say the different art that she included in here I really like it like very mixed media type thing and so of course I always come back to it and I have this in one of my old um Mambi planners and it says learning how to fly but it used to say I'm learning and I accidentally cut it off but you know what that says and then this one which I always come back I may include it in this planner somehow some way because I love like the messages it says it says she's got a million dreams she carries like feathers in a bag and then this one I will risk it all again and again and again she says to herself so I just love those messages I feel like they touch you know home they really resonate with me so I just wanted to show you that but anyways the paper that I use is from this paper stack feel free to use whatever coordinates with um, whatever you're working on and um, so I already cut them out so we can save time and this video doesn't end up being super duper long as I usually end up making them so basically cut out whatever size page marker you want it to be I'm not hung up on sizes so all of my page markers vary in sizes I just kind of wing it um, this is my TN. It's such a chunky monkey by now. I'm loving it so much. I made all of these last night and you know, I, by now the video should be up. But I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's more than I ever imagined it could be. It could be because I guess me feeling blue and needing to find solace in my in my craft like has helped my creativity just skyrocket so I'm excited about that so I just kind of what I usually do to make my page marker this was the same sheet of paper as this so this was the original size I cut so what I did was just place it on top and kind of wing it I rounded the corners and I did double side it because I like that you can just leave it at once because we are going to laminate it but I like the look of this, of it being double sided. I feel like it's more finished. So for toppers, I just went through my stash and again, I'm using the Fiesta stickers from Michaels that I just had been hoarding and this is the perfect occasion to use it. So you don't have to put a topper on yours. I just like, you know, the things to kind of be like peekabooing through the top. I love that. Um, so I'm just going to take off this backing to the sticker and just place it here. And there we go. That's the first one. So I'm going to leave it to the side. And then here's the first piece that I cut. This is the back. Now, do I want the back or do I want the front? Since I used the red here, maybe we can use the green here. I think that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to put this as my topper. And then we'll laminate. I woke up super early today because I'm home alone and it's a rare occasion. And I really wanted to craft and like make a video for you guys. Just to get the series going and just so I can finally do the final flip through of this TN and the process and how it's come along. It's so cute. 
I'm grabbing my usual scotch thermal laminating sheets. Um, you can find these at Walmart, Target. You can find like off brands and they work just as well. Okay. So I never like to waste laminating sheets. So I always encourage you if you have things like that you've been wanting to laminate, just include them in your in your sheet so that you're not wasting a bunch of uh, laminate sheets. We're going to place this one here. Oh, because of this topper, I need to make sure that it all fits nicely inside. Okay, that should be good. And then we'll grab this topper, this topper, this guy. Ooh, he might not fit. Hmm. Oh no, it's not going to fit together. Maybe I'll have to discard this topper and use another one because I don't want to waste this laminate sheet. I really don't. I really don't. So maybe I'll find one that actually um, fits. Let's see. Apologize if I move the camera because... I have so much stuff on here. Maybe this this really nice <laughs> watermelon. It's so cute. It's so cute, but I don't like how it clashes with the with the red. I also have a pineapple. Maybe I'll use that. That could work. It's going to be a very snug fit because of this guy. Hmm. I don't even think that's going to work. Maybe this way. Oh, I don't think it's going to fit. Now I have to find something else to laminate because I'm not going to allow this to go in like this. Definitely I'm not. Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back did end up finding something else to laminate I had originally cut this girl out of the paper pack I felt like she would make like a great bookmark type thing so I had originally cut her out the good thing is that she was already there and so I will just laminate her along with my paper clip uh, what are we gonna call it paper clip holder I don't know I can also insert something here which I should Maybe I'll laminate this guy just to have one that's not, it says fiesta like there's no mañana. <laughs> so cute. Who would have thunk it? Like I just grabbed those because they were on sale at Michael's. I'm just going to laminate this real quick. You know how that process goes and I'm just going to chat as we're doing this. But um, I had bought that at Michael's. And I didn't really know if I was going to have find a use for it. I really didn't. And then, you know, I just got the inspiration to make a Frida Kahlo inspired TN. And it came in so perfect. I just love how things work out like that. So I am just going to laminate. I have my laminator here on the side. I'm trying to keep my desk as organized as possible. But it, for me, I love having the mess. It helps, you know, my creativity flow better just to see everything and kind of have that visual of, you know, what I have to work with and how I can work with it. So for a while, I used to be like really hard on myself and I used to hate having everything like this, but I realize it works for me and my creativity. So I'm just going to go with it. No need for perfection here just be human <laughs> and I've seen like most of cr creative people most creative people that I know like artists and makers of all kinds they have really messy work spaces and it really helps like they say the same things I do so I'm like okay I'm not crazy I'm not crazy right 
So we're just waiting for that and I may speed up this process in the video just to save time on um, in the video. La da da, la da da, la da da. So I already had my cafecito con leche and um, I really didn't eat anything else. I was just so eager to get in my TN and start crafting. Um, before everyone gets home and you know life happens and it's gonna be harder for me to craft so this is my morning breakfast and I'm enjoying it a lot <laughs> so fun for me to do this I just absolutely love doing this la -da -da, la -da -da. so I ran it through twice and I usually always do because I just feel like it's gonna give me a better seal. I don't know if that actually makes a difference, but in my mind it does. <laughs> so, and here I just need to be careful because I have these. So I've seen people with a new Fiskars cutter I really hate that this thing always comes off. It annoys the heck out of me. But I've seen people that have like this metal bar here. I don't know if it's different or if it's an attachment. Like what's up with that? Does anyone know? Um, but I really do enjoy this paper cutter even though that comes out, you know, that's minor. Um, I did get it with like a 55% off coupon a while ago. And I have been enjoying it. I have used other paper cutters and honestly, like no one, not one compares to this one. And the reason why I say that is because even though they're paper cutters, they have all these lines and everything, sometimes they don't cut your paper straight and that would annoy me so, so much. No matter how much you aligned it and all that stuff, it would still not come out straight until I decided, you know what, I'm gonna invest in a good one. Um, I figured Fiskars would be want to try right now I'm just tr I'm just cutting this as I'm talking to you just fussy cutting it um so I just want to know if maybe that one's even better because I really hate how this this thing pops off just doesn't stay put um I've also seen people using it to score their paper. Now, is that a different attachment? Like, what is going on? And why isn't anybody telling me about all this cool stuff? Like, where do I find out about this? And then this I'll just put to the side and I'll cut later. I have a really cute idea for this. Um, I might do a video on it by itself just to show you what, I don't know, it just all of a sudden it just hit me but it doesn't tell another bookmarker. <laughs> the good thing is that with all these bookmarkers, like you don't, you don't have to just use it for this TN. You can transfer them to whatever TNs you're working on and you're using actively. I'm just gonna round the corners cause I love rounded corners and then you don't poke me viciously. I need to cut this a little more just so it looks a little neater. Yesterday I went out with my sister and she was so kind to invite me to brunch. And we were hanging out in this cute little town that's close to us. And we saw a lot of cute little spaces that we generally, because we decided to walk around after brunch. And we generally don't do that so, you know, it was nice exploring the neighborhood and seeing all of the cute shops and there was one shop that it just entailed um like creative people to come in gather and make things and i'm like what like i don't even i didn't even know this was a thing like i was so excited to see that and i definitely definitely want to check it out um you can either go with your own ideas or they have materials to give you i thought that was really cool like a way to you know bring communities together and at the same time just kind of have your group of people that you can relate to in a creative way right okay so this is very similar to what I did last time um, I just basically grabbed my project life ruler I really think you can use any ruler but hopefully 
you have a metal one. If not, I'm sure a plastic one would work just fine. And then my blade. So what I'm going to do is just make little slits randomly. I would say go in like a bricklay pattern, perhaps. And just a little slit. Like think about, you know, where a paper clip might fit. And I say a bricklay pattern because every paper clip is a different size. So you don't want to make sure it goes all the way through. So you don't want them to sort of be like on top of each other. Um, Make sure you protect your work surface. This mat, I've killed it pretty much. So it doesn't matter to me. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright, seems like we're good. So what are we gonna do now? I'm obviously going to make a couple more, but I'm running out of space in my camera, and I just want to show you how it's going to look. And I just dropped something. So you take your paper clip, and you do that. We also have this guy. We have that guy. And these are all the paper clips I made the other day for this specific TN. So when you're not using them, you can just have a place to put them in. And so you would like fill out the whole thing how cute is this? Okay, I just want to I just want to show you real quick. Um had to come back in here and just show you how it turned out. This is the finished product of the paperclip book mark or page marker, however you want to call it, doesn't even matter. <laughs> so, um this is how it looks. I also made this little dangling guy here and just put it on here because why not, right? And then now we're going to take our Chunky Monkey TN. And basically, so I I do recommend that you use flat paper clips. This is going to create bulk in your, in your TN if you don't like bulk. I love the bulk. Honestly, it makes me so happy. The bigger, the better. Um, so this is what you do. You insert it wherever you want it to be, right? And then you close it up and, you know, as you would any other things that you insert into your TN. And all these dangling guys here. And here we go. I'm going to close it. I have to be really careful with everything because I have a lot going on. But I'm okay with it. It makes me happy. And I know a lot of you like this kind of stuff too. But there it goes. So this is the actual page marker for our paper clips in here. So if you don't have anywhere to put it, you know, I just made this guy today, you know. So if you don't have anywhere to put it, to put your paper clips, you can just use this, this type of method here. And that way you will still have them with you. You'll still look at them. They'll still make you happy. And everything will be much better, right? So yeah, now... That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and fly free butterflies. Bye!